Today, we learned about rotations. And of the four transformations that we're going to study this unit, rotations are the hardest one because when you rotate things, the image looks a little different than you'd expect it to. But instead of a normal coordinate grid, today we used a polar coordinate grid. We still have the x-axis, we still have the y-axis, but instead of having a whole bunch of squares on your coordinate grid, we have a whole bunch of circles and it's broken down into angles. So this is really going to help us rotate things around. All right. So I've got a triangle here, triangle ABC, and we're going to rotate it. And let's say we're going to rotate it counterclockwise, because today we're just going to rotate everything counterclockwise, just for simplicity. And let's say we want to rotate it 60 degrees. Okay. So I made myself a little transparency. And on the transparency, I have the axes and I drew the triangle in it and you'll notice that this x-axis is zero degrees all right and if I want to rotate this triangle 60 degrees counterclockwise about the origin the center of the graph what I want to do is rotate it so that this zero degree line ends up all the way at 60 degrees so I'm going to put my pencil here rotate it around there, right here. So this is where my triangle should end up if I rotate it 60 degrees around the origin. But I didn't give out transparencies in class today. You had to do it by hand on paper. And there is a simple way to do it. I'll show you. Point A is right here at the zero degree mark. If we're going to rotate it 60 degrees, that means we just, add, we just need to add 60 degrees to that angle. It should end up at 0 plus 60 is 60 degrees. So follow this line until we get to 60 and plot a point. That's going to be where A prime ends up. And do that same thing with the other points. B is at 30 degrees. 30 plus 60 is 90. So this point should end up at the 90 degree angle marker. Follow the line, 90 degrees. There's B prime. C is currently at 90 degrees. 90 degrees plus 60 degrees is 150 degrees. So I need to rotate this, follow the line, until I hit the 150 degree mark right there. Now, when I connect the dots, That is my rotated triangle. And if I want to check it, I can because I still have my transparency. Rotate this 60 degrees. Bam. Look, ends up right on top of the triangle I just drew. So that's rotating on a polar coordinate grid.